There are lots of drinks in the Fallout universe. Water, alcohol, soft drinks, many of which are references and tributes to the drinks that we can actually go out and try for ourselves. But sometimes you come across a drink that is entirely made up, and Battle Brew is one of those drinks. Battle Brew was invented at Big Mountain by Dr. Mori at the X-13 research facility. Some of his crowning achievements include the Stealth Suit Mark II, the Virtual Reality Simulation, and Battle Brew. Dr. Mori began to experiment with the alcoholic beverage in his spare time and would share it with his colleagues after a long day of science, sometimes using it to treat the others after they had completed a difficult task. Together they would drink, play games, and generally just have a good time. That was until Dr. Callis went to the other lead researchers and complained about it. As a result, Maury had no choice but to move his setup to the storage room where it would remain out of sight and out of mind. Since then, the scientists have all perished, but the strange makeshift sill can still be found and even used to make our very own battle brew. But a few ingredients are needed first. Specifically, one bottle of vodka, one mutant K fungus, and one salient green. Salient Green being a reference to the 1973 dystopian thriller film Soylent Green, where the world is running out of food and consume their dead, turning them into small green biscuits branded as Soylent Green. But fear not, as Salient Green is merely a nutrient source derived from plants, and definitely not people. Once all of these items have gone in, a compelling cocktail will come out, the contents of which will have several effects upon consumption including healing the consumer, restoring their limb condition, improving their strength, increasing their damage threshold and action points, but also reducing their intelligence and giving their vision a red tinge, all of which are temporary. If you can't be bothered to locate the essential items and craft a few bottles, don't worry, as Dr. Mori and the others who enjoyed a good drink after a long shift have put a few bottles aside for you to find. Four bottles can be found inside the same room with the distillery, three opposites and one above. You will need to disable the barrier in order to reach this one. And four more bottles northwest of the X-7B target zone. This must have been their private reserve of battle brew away from the facilities where they could come and drink in peace, without Dr. Callis breathing down their necks. Fortunately, Callis is long dead by the time we arrive, and the only things that we have to concern ourselves with during our downtime are the genetically engineered killing machines, cyborgs, and insane scientists. I see you. Now I end you. Be sure to show your support by liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already for more Fallout content. If there's anything you would like to see in a later video, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. With that said, thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure.